primeira. <risos> So we've just got off of Big Thunder, now we stopped for a quick drink. Now we are going to head down to a Main Street Bakery or Confectionery because we want to try some of the holiday snacks. Since we're only here for one day, I want to get something Christmassy. And then I don't know what we're going to do. So we were thinking, what ride could we do? That's a short way and you get to sit down. And the answer is the Carousel of Progress. So we've never been on it and obviously, I don't even think we went on our last Disney trip in 2019. Um, but we do like it, it's a classic. So we're going to head in, rest our feet, and write a classic. Put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. Believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. The moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country. And we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. So I've been on the hunt for some Christmas holiday stuff and I haven't really found a great deal. But I've just found this Christmas cookie vanilla milkshake. Um, and it was like, I think it was $8 with tax, which isn't bad. It's quite big. So it's starting to get really crowded now, but we are heading towards Haunted Mansion. I think that's going to be our last ride um, before Seven Dwarfs, which we actually paid for our Lightning Lane for. Um, but we're just going to score this little cart here and grab a drink on the way. So we've made it to Haunted Mansion. 45 minutes. But we're just going to head into Memento Mori, have a little look, 
Let's see if there's any good haunted mansion gear. So we've got an hour until our lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs, but the park is starting to get dark. So we're just going to have a little walk around. It's been a while since we've like been the Magic Kingdom in the dark. But as you can see, it's busy. So we're going to head back to uh, Storybook Circus, to the big top. We're going to grab a snack, Becca wants a pretzel. Because we haven't eaten anything really since lunch and that milkshake was quite sickly. So I think we're going to get a snack sit down and just rest a little bit until the lightning lane because our feet are both killing so this is what i got from the uh, big top souvenir it is the christmas cake i was going to get the 50th one but i thought it was, that'll be around in september next year so i thought i'd grab this see what's like so we've got like half an hour until our lightning lane so i thought i would just walk around a little bit of the park and do like a night montage <music> Just scanned into our lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs. Never done a night ride on this before, so very excited. And I'm hoping it is just a walk on. So we're literally at the boarding gate, we've just walked on. So we did pay $20 between us to get on this, but I think it's worth it because the wait time is 120 minutes. And we are on.
so apologies if that was very shaky but it's really hard to hold the camera steady on that ride but the lightning lane was well worth it for us we were on from scanning in to the fast pass lightning lane bit to getting on the ride and getting off nine minutes so that's us heading out now but the tree and all of main street is all lit up but it is getting so hectic around the hub and main street because of the parade uh, the fireworks and the projection show so we're going to head out but how magical does this look guys <laughs> So we got the ferry here this morning, so we're going to take the monorail home so we can see how we've done both, because who doesn't have a ride on the monorail? So we made it back to Cabana Bay. I am shattered. Becca is shattered, but she has had the best day ever, so that put a huge smile on my face. Um, again, we weren't going to do Disney, but Becca's always wanted to see it at Christmas, so I thought I would surprise her with some tickets for Christmas. And I'm glad I did, because I have had the best day as well. I am shattered. You can see like where I've had my mask, my beard sticking out. I'm a sweaty mess. So we're going to chill out. I'm going to wrap this vlog up now, because um, we're going to go down just for some dinner and a couple of drinks, because it's our last like night. Um, so we're just going to eat at the hotel. I'm going to do the very last beer of the... Cabana Bay beer crawl um, and try the last Christmas beer and then that's all four of them done and then because I've done all four of them I get a free beer, that I, any beer that I want to choose um, so I hope you enjoyed this Disney day just to recap a few things because obviously it's our first time since we've been back um, Disney did a, an amazing job of like making people put masks on indoors and stuff and they were actually refusing people if they didn't have a mask on indoors which is really good most people like stuck to the rules without having to be prompted as for Genie Plus, we didn't end up buying it. Before we went to Disney, we were going to buy it. However, the wait times weren't that bad. So today we got to do um, People Mover, Big Thunder, Little Mermaid, Seven Dwarfs, Haunted Mansion. What else, Becca? The Tomorrowland Speedway. I think that's all we got done. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. And Pirates of the Caribbean. So seven big rides, basically. The only one that we did do the lightning lane for separate was seven dwarfs because that didn't drop under a hundred minutes all day and um, so we paid ten dollars each to ride that and it was worth it because like i said when we were in the park from scanning in to getting off the ride in nine minutes total we were literally right at the front of the queue so that was well worth it so we didn't have to wait the 120 minutes which is what it was when we went in so definitely see how it goes for you um, a lot of the rides so for example Pirates of the Caribbean was posted 45 minutes we were in Borden within 30 Haunted Mansion was posted 45 we were in within 15 so that was very misleading the only one that was the opposite misleading was the people mover because the ride actually went down so that was a five minute but I think we ended up waiting like 20 till the ride came back up um, Big Thunder was posted 50 I think and we were on there within 35 I was keeping track of them just to see if it was accurate and um, so we got lucky really so we maximized our day in my eyes at the Magic Kingdom and we didn't actually buy anything the only thing we bought was a calendar this is the only thing that we bought and um, we did want a few other little things but the Emporium was crazy you couldn't get moved you, you just had to stand in, a, in the same spot until, until in the next place and forward like was free and um, so we just got the calendar and headed out so we are coming back in september so we did want the christmas shirts but they didn't have our sizes anyway which we're upset about but we got the universal ones anyway so with that being said i'm going to wrap this one up because i'm just rambling on now so please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and i'll catch you in the next one and remember stay tuned like a light lighting up in the dark you make it right i forgot how to act it's so pleasant